to reduce uh, heart attack in men, stroke in women, and to reduce cancer. So the guidelines uh, historically have just been if you're over a certain age, take an aspirin. But the problem with that is that as you go through life, your risk of heart attack or stroke goes up. But as you go through life, your risk of bleeding from aspirin goes up even higher. So we have to take those things into account. You have to take into account the patient's risk for heart attack or stroke. You have to take into account the patient's age and their risk for bleeding. Not long ago, the, uh, the guidelines said if you're over 45 and a man, over 55 and a woman, take an aspirin. We're realizing that's just not the best advice. Aspirin is the biggest drug used for the biggest killer in the history of the world. Now more people die of cardiovascular disease than any other disease in the history of the world. We've never had a study that tells us how much dose to give. We do know a couple of things. If you're having a heart attack, if you get crushing substernal chest pain, you're calling 911, going to the ER, take four low-dose aspirins and chew them, or one big one, and chew it. Because when you chew it, it gets into your oral mucosa much quicker, gets absorbed much quicker, so you're, you have benefit in just 45 minutes. If you swallow them, go in your stomach, it takes a couple of hours. So that's the dose you take if you're having a heart attack or you're worried about it. If you're just a daily dose, then the 81 milligram, the coated ones, 